So what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel Kangoos maybe you have already heard about this room it's based on Android version 11 it's available for a lot of devices it comes with the latest update which has the latest security patch might be one of the first rooms which I'm using uh, which has the latest April security patch with 5th of April 2021 security patch is there it's based on Android version 11 for some devices it's available as official build for some devices it's available as unofficial build it depends upon it depends upon which device you're using right now in my case I'm using it on my Poco X3 you can use it on your other devices also it's available for Redmi Note 9 Pro Mia Tool devices Redmi Note 8 and some other interesting devices if you have any of these devices I'll try to provide the link for all of those devices in the description right now we are using it on Poco X3 the settings etc features everything is actually same if you compare it with the other devices so let's take a look at all those things one by one the quick settings related customizations are present there you can see I have customized the quick settings right now on my device as you can see I have tried to customize the quick setting tiles according to some interesting shapes and yes this is this option is available in the settings you can simply check out these settings and else everything is almost same like the other custom rooms it didn't got any unique thing available there the quick setting status bar extra customizations are available everywhere talking about the extra tiles options which you get here for example aod we have the cpu info we have the gaming mode these are the extra tiles which you get here and if you want to add them you simply need to hold and drag or you can simply click that and you will be able to add tile on your quick settings it's kind of really easy we have very interesting Interesting tiles options available location hotspot etc you can simply enable them heads up and also we it, it also includes the third party apps tiles mtp server and etc and let me show you one more thing it also comes with that fps info tile so you can simply enable that and check it out if that fps info is working fine yes it's showing there and it should work definitely fine i'm using 90 hertz and yes it is almost at 90 fps yes it's just working quite good you can simply enable this tile and a lot of guys use this style options from here as an overlay sometimes they play games and that's why they use only their devices and yes it's available there Talking about the default launcher, I'm not so surprised that every room nowadays coming with these kind of extra features, nothing else. They just rename that launcher to according to their name. For example, I'm gonna using I'm using Kang OS here, and yes, their name is actually Kang Launcher. The launcher name is Kang Launcher, so everything seems to be same here with just a different name, icon pack, add app icons to home screen and other options hidden and protected apps etc but doesn't include any interesting thing any unique thing and even doesn't come with the pixel launcher doesn't come with the launcher launcher or any other kind of launcher we have the normal kind of things options available there talking about the default camera it depends upon which device you're using but the gcam etc seems to be working quite good i'm using gcam 8.1 here on my device and i have a dedicated video already available on this gcam if you didn't check it out this gcam video yet make sure to check out that how it is how this gcam is going on what is this gcam what are the features you get in this gcam so you'll, you'll get an idea that if you want to use this gcam on your device this is nikita's gcam version 1.0 which is based on google camera version 8.1 which is actually quite good and stable and almost every feature seems to be working on my device actually on my redmi note redmi note 9 pro redmi note 8 and also poco x3 the safeness status is passing and in most of the devices you will get the safeness status pass and yes if the safeness status is not passing for you you can simply try out the magisk hide option that should be that should be fine with that also kangi's lab of course comes with the same kind of boring customization options status bar quick settings buttons notification lock screen animations miscellaneous and music all these options are almost everywhere and also talking about the themes theme store or you can say the themes options it includes the backup theme option but nothing else like that everything else is same here panel background switch style quick setting tiles which we already customized that everything else is almost same these are the things you're getting here it also includes a face lock fingerprint app locker and also it comes with two app lockers one is on the default launcher and one is here this is all link is the description goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 